All right, what's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna do a how-to on the pomegranate cookie. And we'll include a bit about the kumiho at the end, but mm, this the main focus will be the pomegranate cookie, kind of like the how-to video on the kumiho before. So first of all, we're gonna go through the variety of combos. So the main one is pomegranate cookie with relay kumiho. If you not, if you don't really like the kumiho cookie, you can probably use like ninja or maybe even pirate. Your score won't be as high, I don't think. Well, me, me, ninja probably has a chance to get a bit closer to the score you can get with kumiho, but you know, it's uh, it's a bit of luck there. So treasure so we're still going to stick with the the engine, the flask, and the skate. Uh, if you don't have the flask, you guess you could use the egg. Um, that works. Uh, the wave works as well. Not so much with this combo, but if you use the, um, because there's a variety of pets we can use, the ocean dragon is the one that gives you the best. Uh, Lifesaver is good, probably best with the flask. If you, the, you can also use the jellico. Jellico is really nice with this. You can get about mm, 190, 190, mm, probably about 193, something like that. I think that's what I got. And the wave actually works really well with this uh, because so, well, because of all the jellies that come down, the wave then enhances their points even more. So you're getting a lot more points. So you get th plus 3,000 points for a bubble jelly. And we know like the immense amount of jellies we get from the jelly coins in, in general. So even if those little pomegranate jellies are only giving you like, whatever it is, it's a stupid little amount, like one point, isn't it? Something like that. Uh, if you If those are in a bubble, does give you 3,000 and one point now, you know what I mean? So it's definitely a good way to go about it. It doesn't really work too well with the Ocean Dragon, so your flask is still the better option. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through though with the Ocean Dragon. Uh, mostly the gameplay is the same, regardless of pet. Um, the, the Lifesaver has, you end up running a little bit longer with the Lifesaver because of how often he destroys obstacles and gives you health. Uh, does uh, actually increase the distance you run with the pomegranate. But the main focus will probably be Ocean Dragon. I can touch upon though the other pets as well. All right, so we're gonna use the flask though. Right then, so what you gotta do is just run pretty much. There's very little you can do to control the first bit. And by control, I mean the pomegranate jelly. You know that big jelly that turns basic jellies into the smaller pomegranate jellies? We need to kind of control that a bit. So here is basically, okay, that that's not too bad. Um, as you saw, it was on the third one. All right. It was on it was on the third set at the very end. You want it at like the very end of that third set or the top of the fourth set. Um, for the the reason is that is because it pushes everything a little bit further. However, it's totally random. Sometimes that appears in the middle of the third one. You know what I mean? Or just maybe sometimes near the beginning of the third one, and it's totally random. There's nothing that you do that changes it because the very first pomegranate jelly is always collected by the ocean dragon. Now I have a theory is it depends on the jelly setup and depends how the jellies are like how early the first jelly is because that's usually where that pomegranate jelly appears is that the very first point. So if you get like the coins that say run like that R is kind of slanted toward you so the jelly appears sooner rather than the other ones that just have like a straight line start. So um, I think we had a pretty good start, I think. We'll see how it pans out now. So the next bit coming up is the health potion. You want it after, on the on the set of jellies after the potion. You don't want it on, so, okay. So sometimes, as you see the potion, they have, on the right, there's the two, four, six, like six bears. Sometimes that pomegranate jelly appears there. You don't want that. You don't want that. You can delay it. You can like double jump over it or jump onto it, which is which helps to push the next set forward a little bit. That does work. 
because if you just run into it, you collect it a lot earlier because of the magnet. Whereas if you jump over it, just the slightest bit and then slide, then you can try and pick it up. However, now I think we're good. So I will jump into that one like that. And I think we're good. And carry on. 15.2 here is pretty decent. Uh, which gives you about 16.5, yeah. Now, this should be higher, but the game seems to have a, a distinct lack of mysterious jellies. Well, that's a good placement. The top of that second bump for the pomegranate jelly, very nice. Now, usually, I would say here you want 20.5 before collecting that ocean dragon gem. Because the ocean dragon gems give you about a million points. So usually you're looking for like 25, 24 million here, but I've had like no mysterious jellies. So, uh, mm, I can't really do much about that. They're like, they just, they, they haven't spawned in any runs I've done recently. So I don't know if it's a bug or whatever. Oh well. So bonus time, there's only one rule you need to remember and that's do not collect that first boost, go under it. Collect this, collect this, scroll down. Jump up there. Sometimes you might miss those jumps. Don't worry about it. Just jump up at the earliest convenience. And the reason for missing that boost is that that last boost actually, we actually get about 90% of the boost. And it pushes this pomegranate jelly. It's about there. You want it there. All right. If you get it there, then that is really good. All right. Anywhere on those like, what is it, like five basic jellies is a really nice placement. If you get it on that set of 10 ice bears, that double jump after those rainbow bears, it's a bit early. It's a bit early. Uh, you still run, you know what I mean? You can still get over 200 million on the run, but it's not the best. So after the end of here, we are gonna fall. I uh, hope so anyway. Slide down the hole, save. Cool, cool. And then, so right now, so we have already used our fall, so don't be trying to fall again. And the, also the reason for falling is here. These uh, pomegranate jellies are actually going quite, they'll probably go to about halfway up this first double jump here. Um, so we've got the, the maximum amount of, um, what are they called, pomegranate jellies. Because here right now, we've got double basic jellies. All right, because these pomegranate jellies are on a timer and not on a, on a number. Like, for example, the cake, the frozen cake. You can have 1,000 basic jellies in one part, but that cake will only turn about 20, 25 of them into the cakes or into those special dessert um, jellies, and then it will recharge. It has, an, it has a maximum number. The pomegranate has a timer. So by falling, you've paused the timer because when you come up, there's no health drain on that on that rescue. It pushes everything forward about two or three seconds. This is really good. Let's see if we get it now. Okay, yeah. So it was, it was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was about I would say it was about six or seven, uh, six to eight jellies early, but it's okay. All right, we can work with it. it is a okay. Oh, there you just got to learn the jumps so you don't fall down the hole because we've already used our rescue And we are just gonna run now. This is all we're gonna do is just run you, There is nothing really else to do your main parts are bonus time missing that boost Falling oh right there You saw the pomegranate jelly was on the giant jelly sometimes it drops down to the What's that called, that thing? Uh, the ice bear, the old ice bear jelly. That's nice placement. That's best placement right there. If you, if your pomegranate jellies have spawned a bit early throughout, your pomegranate jelly there will be on the boost, which it's all right. It's all right. As I said before, if it's a bit early, it doesn't matter. You'll still get over 200 million points relatively easily, but it's not gonna be the best, all right? Uh, so then, because the reason for you want it there, so the, everything that we've done is all to delay these pomegranate jellies to get maximum amount. Ooh, nearly hit. 
And the next reason is because of here. Here we have a load of triangles. You see all these triangles? You want them all as pomegranate jellies if possible. I mean, you can't. Because of the magnet, you don't really see, but if everything's been pushed up properly and the pomegranate jellies are on that giant jelly and stuff like that, then there's a good chance that about 95% of those bears have become pomegranate jellies, which just enhances your score even more. So here, there is nothing to do really now. We're just literally running. Yeah, we are literally just running now. Uh, even there, right, we've just been running since we fell pretty much. There's <clears throat> not really much. You don't want to hit at all with uh, pomegranate. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, hit here, hit. No, there's no hitting in this. Feel free to do your little two finger jumps if you want. Not needed. But yeah. Oh, here, you do not want to slide. Go over. Sorry, go over there. Uh, pomegranate jellies, you want the pomegranate jellies, remember? This is not the trial mode, we want those jellies. Our score might look absolutely terrible, but it's okay, it'll work out in the end. Coming into here, 66 million, or as close to, pretty good. Anything more is a bonus. Remember, uh, collecting everything we can. Choop, 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 choop. And away we go. Sometimes the ocean dragon, for whatever reason, misses that first boost. So just be aware that you might have to jump into that first boost. Uh, some, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I don't really know how that changes, but yeah. So, if you've done everything like that, you should die around here, and then you're gonna boost into bonus time. Bonus time, 75 million is the aim, but things happen never mind that's because of lack of jelly so you want to go bottom route bottom route, just like kumiho way back when this is because there's some basic jellies here oh we got pomegranate jellies woo -woo. and there's also like i don't know there's about like six or seven at the end right there as well that you want uh here yeah you just want to jump just get some extra destruction points and here we go right boom we had 77 straight into 162 ace you know what I mean? That's like 90 million... 90? No. 85? 85 million? That's good. That's why you want those pomegranate jellies. Each pomegranate jelly gives like one point when you collect it. But in that big potion, that big pomegranate jelly right there, it's like amplified by like to like 39,000 per jelly. Or some insane number like that, all right? That's why you want them throughout the run. We have suffered slightly here. Um, the most I've ever had here is about 160, 364 coming into Kumiho. That's like the best I've ever had. Uh, I then messed up the run later with Kumiho, but don't, don't worry about that. So yeah, so 162, 160 plus is your aim for right here. All right, um, then yeah, so just remember those few things I said before and you should hit something like that. After that, we're gonna run with Kumiho. And um, remember, two finger jumps. Here, you can just double jump for the bears. You wanna transform here, boom. There is a bit of luck required as always with Kumiho. Oh yes, I hit. We don't wanna hit, but I hit anyway. You want pretty much perfect run right here. You do not wanna hit. If you hit though, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to think, oh no, I've got to restart, I hit. Nah, you can carry on, you can carry on. Don't worry. If you don't hit, you actually kind of make it to some of those, through some of those jellies here. Uh, some of those bear jellies as Kumiho getting bonus points, really nice. Usually it's like the first one or two. Uh, this is, Unfortunately, we're RNG again because it's Kumiho. You want those, you want those big bears sets. But you know, if we don't get them, we don't get them. There's nothing we can do to force that. So you just gotta hope for some. Oh, we hit! Wow, that that hit there was not intentional at all. 
but yeah. We're not going to fall yet, though. There is a nicer point to fall with Kumiho. I uh, don't know if we're going to get there, though. Woohoo. After that, yeah, it's about... That's about right. Well, uh, well, I say about right. It's not about right at all. Oh! We're a bit early, but we're in Kumiho mode. So, yeah. Going into bonus time right there. 210. Bottom route as always. Look at that. 6 million, 7 million... Hey, oh, 9 million. Ten, and there we go, 120. Uh, that that was because I hit twice. I lost my boost twice right there. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so. Oh, let's try something. Oh, okay. So before we got the one with the basic jellies at the start, this time we got like, I don't know what that is, boat, maybe? Where are my mysterious fairy jellies at? Have you removed them? Is this some kind of game you play? Or am I just really unlucky? Or is it an iOS thing? Let's see where it appears. Ooh, it appeared just there. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna probably try and push my fairy jellies forward a little bit. <sighs> just to ensure that I'm getting maximum amount of changes. Don't want to push them too far forward, but I need to push them forward just a little bit. Yo! That could have been better. Oh, yeah, score's alright, score's alright, score's alright, 15.1. Mm -hmm. I've had to change all my scoring like, just now because of the lack of fairy jellies now that appear. Whoa, bang. That two? Yeah, that, that's not bad. That's not a bad score, I would say, for zero mysterious fairy jellies. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, why did you collect it so early? Oh, well. Oh, missed the boost. Yep. Double jump, single jump, single jump, jump along. Perfect. Oh, not bad. 29.6. <laughs> this, even though we're not in Kumiho mode, uh, those bears still do have an impact on your score. Let me jump over there. Right, okay, we go. In the way that if you get the, like, just the, I don't know why, the, the three little faces, it's still, like, the worst setup for you, considering, you know, the amount of points you're getting. Let's see what we get up here. Oh, right to the top on this run. That was some nice pushing forward of the pomegranate jellies. Good job, Alex. A-star performance. So yeah, so you still want like, uh, you still want like the two big torpedoes or whatever. This one's not bad, that one's not bad. You know what I mean, like, they still do affect your score quite, I think, quite reasonably. Ooh. Come on, oh no, it was so nice, that pomegranate jelly before. And then it, what happened? What happened? I don't know. Don't know what happened. Oh well, I guess, guess the, I guess we're carrying on with it coming early. Oh, I saw a few little. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> do do do. Yeah, so nothing really going on right here. Good. The, ooh, 
Basically, you're only working the, for the jellies, for the pomegranate jelly uh, delaying at the beginning pretty much. After that, like as soon as you finish this stage, because of the big gap between where it ends and where the next jelly appears, you'll pretty much it pretty much resets as soon as you go into the last stage. Pretty much. Sometimes there's a little bit of discrepancy with the one just before you die, but that one's a bit early. Uh, oh, over there, don't forget. It's so easy to go under because we've always gone under. Oh, apart from a Kumiho, we, always went, we also went over as well because of those beads, didn't we? So yeah, we're following Kumiho's example right there. Can we get to 66 again? Oh, we, oh, we did! Oh, good. Oh, the skate, wasn't it? I was like, oh, why did we get those extra points? And then I remembered the skate. So yeah, we hit our 66. There, right. That was the example I was talking about before. Sometimes it will just miss it. No reason. I don't know why. Why would it miss it? I have no idea, but it did. Just doesn't. It's like, nope, you can collect that. Yes, but I nearly missed it. Eh, not my problem. Are we going to get 95 before bonus time? Let's find out. Oh, we've actually got 95? 75. We're actually doing better somehow than before. Hmm, don't know. Bottom route, remember the bottom route, bottom route, bottom route. Oh, uh, we got 163 that time. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Oh, I thought I missed it. Oh, yeah, how am I going to get that when it's into the rocks? That right there is... That's just a big uh-uh for Alex right there. But we didn't hit with Kumiho this time. I can't believe that dragon did that to me. Oh. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, you. Oh, you her. Oh, thank you. You're going to get that one, are you? It's very good of you. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, we got the first one right there. And then we'll just jump along. Changed as we collected the... Uh, what's that called? All Bear Jelly. Whoop. No, we didn't get the... I want the... I want the... What 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 are they called? Those things? Oh, our Kumiho is going a bit longer this time. Okay. Oh, all right then. So, if it happens, we'll just. Oh, you want to change about in the middle of that? Can't believe that. You missed a million points right there. Oh well, never mind, eh? Now I can show you where to fall though, because I didn't hit. Right here. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? Oh, I think we got left. <laughs> we got left. Go. Oh, yes, because we missed a million points. Mm -hmm. We should actually end up with more points, though, in the end, because we're actually going to go further because we died in the correct place. So last time we had 219 coming out here, didn't we? You oh, look at it, stay in there. Oh, what's that? There you go, 223. But there you go, you see, there's always things going on in this this run. The way to avoid having that ocean dragon teardrop right in the middle of those rocks is to not jump so much at the end with the pomegranate. Um, so you want to die a little bit before that. And then do your jumps uh, with the Kumiho. You can still make it, you know. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much because of the way I jumped right there. I'll compare it now. Uh, like the place I died and then the place I died. Died first and then died second. If you die in the f uh, roughly around the first place, your teardrop will be in just enough place to single jump or double jump to get. And then slide into the coin jelly in the, f in the hole. 
and then carry on but yeah so that is the route for the kumiho when you do not hit at all which is pretty nice um hopefully you don't lose a million points but there you go and you'll be like well why did you not get 225 226 to it's because of those setups of jellies that's what it was it's just a setup it's, that is literally it. Remember, those flags are worth two to three million points to the Kumiho. I didn't get none of them. So my points were already dwindled. A couple of those sets of flags and you're way ahead of it. That's that You're on that 226, 227 kind of run. All right, though, that is it for this how-to. That is the how-to on the pomegranate cookie. I hope you found it useful uh, in some way, shape, or form. Until next time, bye-bye.